the birth pangs continued on. They've continued on because in 1967, Israel found itself in war again. In 1973, on Yom Kippur, Israel find itself in war against the Arab nations again. We saw the major conflicts in 2006 taking place uh, between Lebanon and Israel and uh, the worry about Syria coming in. So the birth pangs have rung out very loud and clear around the world since Israel became a nation again. So Israel was born in one day, the birth pangs started, and Paul told us in the last days when they shall talk peace and safety, sudden destruction is going to come. So now let's link another prophecy together where the prophet Zechariah tells us in the last days all of the earth, all of the nations will come against Israel in the last days. And anybody who does, the Lord tells us they will be cut in pieces. And we're, we know in the scriptures, for example, the, the scripture also tells us that uh, anyone who burdens themselves over Jerusalem uh, there is major problems. It's going to happen with these people who do these things. So, listen to this. And in that day I will make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves will be cut or shall be cut into pieces, though all the people of the earth shall be gathered against it. And then in verse 9 it says, and it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. See, at the end of the tribulation, everybody's going to be marching towards Israel and Jerusalem. And that's when the, the Lord Jesus Christ will come back with his church, who've been in heaven for seven years. They come back, and the Lord defeats the Antichrist, defeats his kingdom, and the thousand-year of uh, the reign of the Lord begins in Jerusalem. So, in the last days, obviously, before the, the Lord comes back, the scripture has to be fulfilled that all the world will be turning against Israel. Now, let me give you some information. Obviously, if you go to my book, you'll see all of this information. I'm just going to give you a highlight of what's happened to bring you up to speed. Here is an Israel Today, uh, and the headline reads, Obama about to betray Israel, says former intel officer. And this came out March of 19th of 2009, so it's a few years ago. It says a former top U.S. intelligence officer warns that the Obama administration is about to break America's long ties of friendship with Israel and maybe even take steps towards the dissolution of the Jewish state. These are heavy words when it comes down to that prophecy that says that you come against Israel, you'll be cut into pieces. So speaking on the condition of amenity, the Douglas Hagman of the Northeast Intelligent Network, the source said, I have every reason to believe, based on what I've seen at my level of security clearance, especially over the last years, that Israel will soon be completely on their own, or worse. He went on to note that the betrayal likely won't happen in one dramatic moment, but rather uh, subtly in uh, behind the scenes and over the course of several years. Now, we've seen this article 2009. So, at the time where the Lord told us to watch the signs of all the world coming against Israel, is that taking place? And are the friends of Israel falling apart and coming against Israel? Just like the Lord indicated that all the nations, including the friends? Take a look at this. This is an article that came out. You could freeze frame it. I'm going to read it anyway. It says... The World versus United Jerusalem. The Six Day War was a watershed in the short history of the State of Israel, one point of friction it created and that it has yet to be resolved. This is the status of the United City of Jerusalem. On August 1st, the Harazan News in said this, the Muslim religious leaders had announced that it will not agree to United Jerusalem. We never forgot that we are under the military government of Israel as an occupier. So, 
you have an article right there saying that everybody has turned against I Israel. The world is coming against Israel. Nation after nation, we see these things taking place, all right? And that includes the United States. And it started, as you can see, with this intelligence officer in 2009. Now, what is the problem of the peace talks right now? Well, obviously, if you watched any of the news, you know it is East Jerusalem, exactly as the scriptures pointed to. And there is the, the opposition of the 1967 borders. Now, East Jerusalem was in the hands of the Palestinians before that war of 1967. And in 1967, when Israel won that war, they took over East Jerusalem, and that is the contention. Now, keep in mind what Paul said. When they shall call peace and safety, sudden destruction will take place. That sudden destruction is about to take place over the city of Jerusalem, and that is the same city that Zechariah said the whole world would burden themselves about, and that's what's happening today. One of the reasons why Israel is having these confrontations right now that you're going to be seeing here in a second is because of the construction that's going on in land. The PLO believes that's their land in East Jerusalem where the Jewish uh, Holy Temple, the first and the second temple once stood and there's going to be another one that's going to build uh, be built on that Temple Mount soon. But that is also the area of the uh, the uh, Dome of the Rock, which is the third most holiest site there for the Muslims. But look at this. It says, Israel to okay 4,300 new homes in East Jerusalem. Palestinians oppose all Israeli construction in East Jerusalem because it chips away at their hopes to establish a capital of a, of a future state in the holy city. The approval for the new apartments also could create new problems for Washington which is trying to persuade the Palestinians to abandon their statehood bid and enter into the negotiations with Israel instead. Then down here it says the Palestinians refuse to negotiate with Netanyahu's government as long as it continues to build in the West Bank and East Jerusalem territories that would form a core of their future independent state. So what they're saying is Palestine believes that East Jerusalem is going to be their capital and the only way that they can happen is to take it away from Israel and you would have a major war if that took place. Now, I told the people in my post when I heard this information, watch the skirmishes that's going to be going on because you're going to see the Arabs upset that they're building land now and nothing's happening with the peace process. There's, there's going to be this skirmish conflicts and that's what we're seeing and they're paving stones to the Psalm 83 war that hasn't been fulfilled yet. So now we have from the Israel today, Israel-Gaza fighting flares up again and this is happening this first article that came out that talked about was uh, the homes was uh, on August the 11th. Now this article came out on the 16th and it says the Palestinian terrorist operating in the Gaza Strip fired a Grad missile at the southern city of Bashara in the uh, or, or Bratsera, excuse me, on Monday night. The missile uh, triggered Beersheba's air and air raid sirens sending local residents uh, scrambling for the bomb shelter. So we see the uh, a, an attack by these people, the Arabs, obviously the Palestinians, against Israel because of East Jerusalem's construction. And uh, the Zechariah prophecy keeps ringing out. Now, as far as the United States, one of the major allies of the United States, and what this intelligent officer said it was going to happen slowly behind the scenes, listen to this. I'm going to put this up. This is a picture of Hillary Clinton, and what they just got through saying to Israel should make the back of your hair start to stand on the end. Uh, it, the headline to this report, Obama to Israel, apologize to Turkey or else. Israel's large, uh, largest daily newspaper, the Idiot uh, Hedoran, reported on Wednesday that the Obama administration is threatening Israel to either apologize to Turkey over its bloody interception of the Gaza aid flotilla last year or risk strain ties with 
Washington. Are you getting the picture here? What's happening? Slowly but surely, the United States is pulling away their friendship from Israel. It's going to take place. I promise you this based on what we know from the word of the Lord, and he's never wrong. Every nation, including the United States, will turn away. Israel's diplomats in Washington told the newspapers that they had received a communique from the U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton insisting that the rift between Israel and Turkey was alarming Americans' interest in the region, such as affecting regime change in neighboring Syria. The United, the United States is trying to change uh, Bashar al-Assad's uh, dictatorship out of there. and. They're afraid that Bashar al-Assad may use that uh, rioting and the civil war that's going on in, in uh, Syria to focus his attention on Israel. And that makes sense because Isaiah chapter 17 verse 1 says it, the Damascus will be completely destroyed. So, it says Turkish Prime Minister uh, Recap Tayyad Erdogan demands that Israel publicly apologize for intercepting a May 2010 humanitarian aid flotilla that tried to break Israel's maritime blockade of the Gaza Strip. Now, what had happened is a really, really close ally, listen to what I'm saying, Turkey was one of Israel's closest allies. As a matter of fact, up until this flotilla took place in 2010, they were even having military maneuvers together. That's how close they were. And right after this happened, this the boarding of the ships to try to get the arms and whatever they were going to be bringing into the Gaza Strip to the PLO, when that happened, the de deterioration of the friendship between Israel and Turkey took place. Now they're bitter enemies. Listen to this. Turkey plans... Uh, diplomatic assault on Israel after its refusal to apologize for the Gaza uh, flotilla raid. So now you have the leader of Turkey that's going to go in, he's downgrading Israel and he's making them look bad because they refuse to uh, apologize. And what were the Israelis going to apologize for? All they were going to do is try to board the ship and make sure that no weapons were coming because they have been pouring in both on land and at sea. Now, here we go. This article was taken. Let me get the date for it. This article came out on uh, August the 18th. And uh, just a couple days before, we see Senator wants to stop aid to Israel's army. I mean, here, another one of those hints showing you that America's pulling away. Tel Aviv, Israel, August 16th from UPI, U.S. Senator Patrick Leahy has called an end to the U.S. assistance uh, to three elite is Israeli army units suspected of human rights violation. And so, never before in the history of the United States have we seen this negative, negative atmosphere between the United States and Israel. We were right on as far as fellowshipping and friends with this country, and now that's disintegrating, it's breaking down. And one of the major reasons why this is happening is because the failed peace talks. Barack Obama wants to split the nation. He wants the Palestinians to have East Jerusalem. This is dire consequences for anybody that messes around with that nation. So, seven, what had happened? Now we're going to turn to the 18th. Seven killed in a series of terror attacks against southern Israel. They were attacked by Egypt, bordering Egypt. Psalm 83 tells us the Hagarines, Hagarites, who are the modern day Egyptians, are going to attack with the Palestinians and many other nations. It's about to take place. We're seeing it. And so, and I'm going to continue on in the next video with some more news, and we'll keep going on from there. Thank you.